Whenever you visit a new website, sign up for a new social media platform, or use an online portal for the first time, everyone is asking you to accept their cookies. It's enough to give you a stomach ache. There's a cookies policy that just pops up. We usually just click accept, absentmindedly. But what if we'd actually read that long and complicated disclaimer? Well, chances are we'd think twice before giving away our personal data. When the internet giants started harnessing our online data, web users didn't realize that it was such a valuable commodity. In fact, the big data market was worth a staggering $162.2 billion in 2021, according to a 2022 report by researchandmarket.com, and it's projected to grow even more. And while these centralized platforms are selling our data to marketing companies, they're generating eye-watering revenue. So a user's data is sold and that user doesn't see a dime of the profit. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The tide is slowly turning thanks to the ethos of Web3 and blockchain technology. I'm Forecast Justin Solomon and this is The Great Disruption. The next iteration of the World Wide Web, known as Web3, promises more user empowerment by giving us back control of our data. Simple to say, but how would this actually work? First and foremost, Web3 users will require their own identity layer to regain ownership of their personal data. Blockchain introduces the possibility of having a decentralized online identity, which users could use chain agnostically across all platforms, also known as self-sovereign identity or SSI for short. This could serve as the tamper-proof identity layer that gives users control back over their digital footprint. Here's how it works. Uh, imagine SSI as a highly secure crypto wallet, but instead of BTC or ETH, it holds all your personal credentials, everything from your identity card to your driver's license and certificates in a single blockchain secured environment. Since this digital wallet is cryptographically encrypted, you're the only one who can access the data. Your data could either be accessed by password or biometric key like a fingerprint or an iris scan. Since companies couldn't just freely grab your data, they'd have to ask for your permission every time. So your digital wallet would send you a notification of who is requesting access to your data. Based on your preferences, you can choose what data you'll share and what remains protected by your blockchain wallet. So how would this work in real life? Say you're applying for a new job as a freshly graduated software developer. The company you're applying to would want to verify your citizenship and certificates to make sure you're the right fit. So the company will send a request to your SSI wallet to make sure you're a national citizen and that you have a graduate diploma. Now, instead of sharing all of your personal information, your decentralized identity will enable you to only share the requested data. In this case, the fact that you hold a diploma and a citizenship. For companies, it could make the hiring process faster and more cost efficient. No more incessant background checks and requests to see your transcripts again. Blockchain-based identity would also offer companies more assurance over legitimacy of an applicant's credentials. Decentralized identity could also make traffic control and other routine police activity more straightforward. For one, officers would know that the data is legit there are no fake blockchain credentials. People would also be able to retain their personal data since they wouldn't have to give up all their credentials. Instead of giving away your address, date of birth, and all your information, SSI will enable you to prove that you have a valid driver's license without having to show the actual document. Blockchain-based decentralized identity brings significant advantages to the table. End users would benefit by having their personal data and digital footprint protected at all times, meaning no more massive data leaks and exploits. But more importantly, decentralized identity could create a more equal digital playing field by giving back users ownership of their data and by democratizing big data revenue, since large corporations would have to buy personal data directly from the users. Identity is central to our day-to-day -day interactions and an essential part of human evolution. And as humanity evolves, it's only natural for identity solutions to follow suit.